Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Mortanius, and we are back with some more Star Wars Jedi Survivor. On the uh, Xbox Series X. <clears throat> When we last left off, we were still in the process of knocking out a few more of Kobo's problems before we move on to uh, some of these other planets. But we had also begun our climb slash journey all the way up to Dagangara's observatory. Just stopped back into a uh, Rambler's Reach for a few things. So if you folks like what you see and want to see more of me as we continue on, well, give me a like, uh, follow, subscribe here on YouTube or both. Drop a comment, check out some of the other playlists, share around some of the other playlists. Follow the links on my Twitch to get to my YouTube. Follow the links on my YouTube to get to my Twitch. And wherever you folks happen to be, have yourselves a <coughs> sorry about that. A good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, and get comfortable. Let's get into this. Came down here because green force fields. And I forgot them. Forgot you too. Hence your spot of luck. Time of recording is 1.36 a.m. Sunday, June 2nd, 2024. It's sealed. Right there is where we fell down into the hole leading to the first uh, training area for Jedi. Wonder if you can take that hole. Yeah, it looks like you can, because you can see the whole map, so, yeah, you can. Cool. I do not remember which one this is. I don't know if I can even do it. I do remember what it, uh, well, that it was a force, uh, echo, but not what it was. Oh, okay. I was actually fine by the looks of it. See that one that just took me out, you'll never outrun it. Even with BD speed, you'll never outrun it. 
Luckily, it hadn't started yet. Didn't jump early enough. I'm trying to remember. I can get a look at the place from here. All right, then. What the? Even aiming straight on. Okay. Can't actually use BD Zoom feature. Because <laughs> I'm obviously missing something, but I'm like, what is it specifically? Ooh. Because I need to get on this line somehow. Oh, wow. We're playing that game, huh? What is that? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. I see. Gotta catch it closer to the edge or c closer to the uh, shortest distance point. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what was up with that? I said drop, not jump. That's sure. Well, we'll do something with it. Okay. Dash didn't kick in. I 
what made that last instance so much worse is my reflex was to slow down. <laughs> No again. No again. I'll try this one more time. I'm not trying to have this whole episode stuck on this. This is easier than I'm making it, but not as simple as it seems. I figured I'd try the other direction, why not? <laughs> Especially if I can actually catch it. Okay then. Ignore my double jump, why don't you? Not being able to properly see to adjust. That time I was hoping I'd slow down enough to get up under it before it actually hit. Say I've gotten this one before. All right. Whoop. Jesus Christ. Far less complicated than I was making. So naturally, when I'm done is when I'll finish. Far longer than it should have. All right, that did it. Glad to be rid of it. Huh. I don't remember where that door leads. I know that ain't what I think I'm seeing. Or rather, who? Tactical? Really? I mean, this is dark as they're going to get.
What are the legs that I wear, bomber? Hmm. Let me sure we can switch it up. Let's duel. <laughs> All right. Ah, directly there. Hey. Isn't it a little dark down there for fishing? You a know. A true fisher doesn't rely on the sun to do the seeing. A true fisher fishes with the main. Sink your eyes on this. Barbed hook fish. You're asking yourself, how in the deep did old Scuba know where the fishy was hiding? But what you don't know is that the barbed hook fish always travels northward. Always? How does it always travel north? Well, it, uh, you, you see, north, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a relative, uh, to find a bump into it on my way down. But, mm. a true fisher knows that a pocket full of luck is more important than some cod migration pattern. Now for a story, if you've the time. I agree with that, but that's actually a nice deflection. So, Scuva, back to your story. Were you actually marooned in deep space by Captain Wet? Aye, lad. There I sat, tummy a rumble, gazing out at the void, my somber reflection staring back from the porthole. Was it hours? Years? Uh, neither would faze me. But I do recall this. After a term most interminable, there she was, like a, a bowsprit cutting through a crest. The great space whale, still sporting the grapnel's imprint on her side, emerged from a parted void. Aye, even now it brings the salt to my eyes. Her great blubbery undulations toss me bored through the stars like a goose-winged skiff. The stars swirled about like a hundred thousand fishes, until suddenly I saw a planet below. There my pod crashed, and there I was rescued by kindly locals. I had been saved by this marvelous creature from the depth of space. I tried searching for her. Alas, to no avail. She eluded me for years before I packed my satchel and headed home for Sakari Tar. Most didn't believe what I'd seen. They say she was not with the terminal spasm of a starving salt's brain. But I know what I saw, lad. I know what I saw. Of course, when I returned home, things were not as I remembered them. But that'd be a tale for another time. Interesting. The Pergil. Scuba was rescued from deep space by Pergil, an enormous space-fearing creature which swept Scuba back to known space in its hypertunnel. He spent years afterwards trying to, in vain, to find his rescuer. If memory serves, Purgles have been proven to be real. I want to say they're they're in the uh, Rebels TV series. Never actually got the chance to properly finish that series. Um. Hmm. Where was it? Barbed hookfish. Damn. All right. The barbed hookfish has evolved out of necessity to be a brutal predator. Other fish in this taxonomy feed on krill and water-based nutrients, but the hookfish has developed a defensive skeleton and hooked fins for attacking other fish and even birds who dare to cross it. Birds, huh? Think you're going to get something nice to eat and it's going to go down horrible. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Uh, it's, it is from the Star Wars Rebel series. I don't know if it existed in the uh, media beforehand, but they're effectively space whales. And they do travel via hyperspace. So, yeah. I believe it's Scoov. I believe it. The hell was that? I don't know if I knew this was here. All right, now that wasn't a visual. Okay, well, at least I'm not the first one down here. Oh no, this ain't. Oh no, I couldn't. That's be. not opening. Different shaped door. Circular what? More of a trapezoid? Triangular trapezoid? Than a standard trapezoid? You know, I don't think I ever described it. But I did mention games like Horizon. Uh, eventually like the Witcher and whatnot and I uh, actually meant to clarify at the time this as well I will make it a point to actually do at least six episodes for these just because of how big they are this of course being the sixth episode so we'll be uh, progressing onward from here As a matter of fact, I might, yeah, I have to look. Sorry about that, I just got a notification on my phone. I have to look, but I want to say Horizon is actually up next again. So there that is. What? Oh. Oh, okay, so I can't normally just drop. That was just a story mode drop, because... It's trying to do the, you're falling too far thing. Didn't used to be a save point right here, if memory serves. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, actually it did. It did. Hmm. I mean, this technique is nice, but like, do I need it? That's more for like, it, it, it's, it's perfect, perfect dodging. It uses the force, but I mean, you do get perfect dodge out of it. It's the same thing the uh, ninth sister was doing to us at the beginning of the game in that fight. Sundering <laughs> swipe, reaching cleave. Didn't that just do that? Oh, that reduced the ch uh, charge up time for it. Rolling Thunder. <laughs> we'll see. Ah, that's partly what's been my problem, is the lack of unrelenting pull. 
So there have been times where I should have been able to pull enemies, but I couldn't because I didn't have it. So, twin pull it is. I gotta like, remember that I have this technique, though. Because it's so un the button you use to grab the other one is so unusual. You, you have to hit Y while holding the other enemy with a normal pull. Hmm. So do you just... Hmm. Do you have to hold Y or do you just tap Y? Hmm. You know, didn't I kill... Uh, might be wrong. I could have swore I'd killed another bounty. The funky caverns. Definitely need to go back down there, but not yet. Well, actually, hold on. Need to check out, uh, Pylons first. I feel weird. We're running around with one sleeve. He's probably cold constantly. <laughs> Grab a spot at the bar. Say, Cal, what do you make of this place? I mean, honestly, I like it. It's it not does. too shabby. Lots of potential. Does yeah, what it needs to. Well, anything has potential if you squint hard enough. What about you? You seem to spend a lot of time here. What do I think? I'll lay it out for you. This place violates about two dozen business fundamentals, giddily deploys false advertising practices, and is riddled with moles I daren't investigate. Ugh. And yet, it serves drinks and doesn't close its doors when the Bedlam Raiders march into town. That's more than you can say for any other establishment on this rock. Like I said, it does what it needs to. See you around, Cal. Why'd you choose to study the High Republic? You know, I think it is the same reason that people are flocking to Pylun's saloon. Everyone is excited about the possibility of what Kobo could become. I believe that is the kind of optimism that defined the High Republic. Maybe you're right about that. That's the kind of optimism that always ref defines the Republic. It's just usually poisoned in some way, shape, and form. Some other time, okay? There aren't any Zabrak hanging out in the outpost, right? Why? Not that I've seen. Huh, thank goodness. Thought I was gonna have to book it for a second there. Are there people out to hurt you? Only always. But I <laughs> owe these Zabrak quite a few credits for a, an incident I was involved in. You get into a lot of trouble, don't you? The less you know, the better. Trust me. Oh, wow. Wow. He always looking for help, and what he has to say is the less you know, the better. I should tell you right there. I can always run and start a new life. No, Turgle. Not again. Again. Oh, come on. You cannot tell so me. How'd you're... you like playing on Coruscant? At first, I loved it. Dunder City's this melting pot of all these different struggles. A real vivid place, you know? Too easy, After though. After a few months of small gigs, though, I got bumped up to the popular clubs. Didn't take long for me to start hating it. Yep. Not your scene. It wasn't a, a conversation, you know? Those crowds just wanted to be able to say they'd seen the next big thing. Yep. Sounds like you were really on the rise. Well, my agents were ambitious. Scored me a deal that could have had me on billboards all over the court. <laughs> That's what no. they're supposed to do. That takes guts. Well, so does slicing up raiders. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Mm, well said. Keep on doing your thing. I can respect her the thought process. She wanted to stay her and not corporate. Or making money off of it is fine, but she didn't want to lose the thing that got people to come see her and her listen to her content in the first place. Now that you've proven yourself a proper hunter, you might as well play the part. Like I said, 
I'm not looking to start a career in bounty hunting. Uh-huh. Never heard that one before. Fifth mm. tip. Expand your arsenal. Modded my blasters myself to boost my close game. Second tip. Always arrive equipped in style. Makes people talk. You'll get more jobs that way. I was practically an amateur before I scored my jet boots. Then the jobs came pouring in. Thanks, but I'm good. Suit yourself. But don't come crying to me when you find yourself outplayed. You know, it does make me wonder. Because if you notice all across the game, Cal seems to take a lot of issue with the fact that everybody has jetpacks and jet boots. Makes me wonder if we're going to get something like that at some point. What can I entice you with today? Nothing. I was mainly hoping you'd give me more bounties, but all right. What? Nothing. How you doing? How you doing? That giant piazza you sweet talk reminds me of a time when I was out on a mountain hike with my older brother. We came across a tibidi. Ever seen one? Yeah. Those are enormous. Man. <laughs> no kidding. Beautiful specimen. Was gonna leave well enough alone. Then, all of a sudden, the tibidi snatches my brother and takes flight. I scramble up a cliffside. Didn't want to hurt the tibidi, mind you, but I had to save my brother. Threw my spear, pierced the bee straight through. That must have been quite the throw. Mm. How'd you manage it? And what choice did I have? Brother fell, got a few scrapes. He was lucky. Wish I could have talked that tibidi down. But mm. there are some fights you just can't avoid. Yeah. Yeah, there's some you Lighter really can't. BD. Okay, I guess he's floating on a translucent being or something. I guess I'm just a ghost around here. I don't know if we have a TBD on uh in our database. Because I don't know if it would simply be in the like Kobo section or if it would actually be in the tactical guide. Well, I guess not. Oh, that's funny. I never did, because whenever it is I tend to defeat them, I don't read their thing, because I don't want to be spoiled tactically. I don't want advantages when I'm fighting them. But I forget to read it. Ravis. He's resilient, does not fear lightsaber strikes, would retaliate with caution and restraint. While not very effective, charged force powers can still interrupt his attacks, return his missiles, or buy time to use a stem. As a long-lived Gendai, Ravis has watched civilizations rise and fall as the centuries passed. Yet his loyalty to Dagon Gera has not once wavered in all the years he has served him. A brutal and skilled fighter, Ravis attacks with an array of weaponry, from a custom-made flail to rocket barrages. Bound by his warrior's code, there are few who, have, who could have stood against him and lived. He wasn't concerned about fighting a Jedi. And as a matter of fact, the way he made it sound, Gendai tend to... I don't know. I can't say in terms of that one. But if he's come across Jedi before me, I have no doubt that he went through him. He's still alive. Uh, I believe I read this one. Well, maybe not. Dagon Gera, after he uh, has had some time out of his uh, back to pod, highly dangerous when his lightsaber is orbiting him. Keep him keep your distance if possible. Skilled combatants may be able to parry the orbiting lightsaber. Yeah, I have read it because I remember that that skilled combatant statement. Just wanting to be sure about what all I might have missed. I don't think there's any, but Maybe, maybe so. Right, read that one for the ninth sister way back in the day. 
Yeah, we're good. Greasy. Grease, you should know. When my old crew worked from the Mantis, we made a few changes. Oh, you mean how the left side of the cabin couch completely has lost its bounce? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Come on, the seat's got no give. Cushion just limps there, like a dead Necco. And that's from Liz. To psych herself up for a mission, she'd bounce on the couch as hard as she could. Now every time I sit on that broken cushion, it feels like Liz is still there. Well, I was planning to replace those cushions, but maybe that can wait. I can respect that. We all have our rituals. Let's talk in a bit, yeah? We all have our rituals. Cool, Grease is leaving it. Cow, buddy. You ain't been here long, have you? No, not long. Oh, me? I've been on Kobo for most of my life. Came all alone when I was a little sprout. Age of 12, if you can believe it. Really? All by yourself? That's right. Heard there was fortune to be had, as long as you ain't a lazy bones. And I jolly well ain't. I can respect that. Hey, mate. Kobo ain't a planet where you can afford to be lazy. I might get in the game of Hollow Tactics before the end of the episode. Z, got any advice on confronting Dagon? Well, in my day, I did watch him spar countless times. A ferocious warrior, that one. With a keen instinct for recognizing weakness. So mm -hmm. don't show any. If only it was that easy. <laughs> I know. Why is it our enemies always seem to be the ones to exploit our failings? They wouldn't be our enemies. Otherwise, at least in this particular instance. We'll speak later. Go on, set forth. I think I'll browse a little. Hmm. My, just look at it. Interesting. Go ahead and get this. that basic metal for BD. Oh wait, she's selling that droid stuff. Eh. Sure. Could use this. Kick him up some uh, new pieces. Jedi and Night Sister together again. Mm. The kid is uh the kid would be interesting. <laughs> Don't know if that's a bot, but if not, Beers Force, welcome to the game, welcome to the chat, and thanks for stopping through. As you can see, our tank is gorgeous. Scuba does good work. I think that's that, uh, uh, the barbed hookfish that we just picked up. That long one we just saw. Hmm. Cool. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And then it actually comes back around on its own. I mean, it was rotating on its own the whole time, which I knew. But it actually came back here to say, well, we're done. Carl, look at all that's happening around here. And yep. You're so often at the center of things. Careful, careful. What do you mean? That will cause to problems. Admirable, of course, but good deeds often bless one in the spotlights. That's, That's right. That's the last thing I want. Exactly. Granted, this is just a backwater cantina, not a Coruscant parlor, but a little caution is wise. Gossip always travels faster than light. We'll see it. I'm glad somebody on this planet said it. We've been moving hard and hard and hard. Sure, we've been sticking to sticking to a few sectors of the galaxy, but we've been cutting swaths. There's no way this stays unnoticed for too long. Go with confidence, but also with care, Cal. Don't let me keep you. There's too much power. There's too much happening. Uh, let's chat later. Put quite simply, too much of this slice of the galaxy is at stake. 
for somebody not to be aware beyond it. Thanks to your cultivation, I was able to expand our garden. Uh. Ah. All right, ready to do some gardening? Love plants, and they'll love you back. I agree with that to an extent. I mean, to an extent, you know, there are levels to it. They say talking to plants is actually a helpful thing. I believe it. That's a new species. I don't Better make it a what point to, has to say about it. Speak to them. There. But you know, new home. Power to those who do. You know. I wish I could rotate it, but it wouldn't matter, at least not in those slots. Here looks good. Nope, there is no particular rhyme or reason to my method. I'm literally just choosing. So long as it's got enough to fill slots and plant it. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Okay, so I have to just do a zoom from there. Kind of irksome, but as you folks see, I can uproot these if I so choose. But it also lets you see where, like, the progress of them are. Beyond um, just having yourself a personal rooftop garden. I think they'll like it there, buddy. Any as well ideas as, uh, for a color beauty? Giving Peely something else to talk about slash do. Uh... Want to plant some seeds? It effectively... Well, I'll show you. And you go over here. Never seen this one. I should talk to Peely about it. The main point, at and least to an extent, is to thumb. unlock Puppy this. D. New seeds, magnificent. After you planted one, I'll share what I know. I see you planted a spine fluff. They are <laughs> quite adorable, but beware. Nested amongst those plumes are some claw-sharp needles. Mm. Spine fluff. <laughs> the spine fluff was first discovered on a planet teeming with predatory creatures, each vying for dominance over the environment. The spine fluff, much valued for be, uh, by beasts for their nutrient-rich bulbs, de developed camouflage spines nestled among the attractive plumage. Our spines sharp enough to draw blood and t uh, hopefully deter any predator looking for a meal. So yeah, yeah. You must be a real big fan of indigestion. <laughs> real big fan. That fire pineapple will bloom, I am sure of it. Cut past the roots, and the fruit beneath is quite delicious, if you mm -hmm. can endure its pungency. That sounds pretty good to me, honestly. Fire pineapple. A fire pineapple, the fire pineapple is distantly related to the cactus ball. Sharing its characteristics. Loosely, distantly related. Oh, oh. Sharing this characteristics is a characteristic tapered in sharp stems. Uniquely, however, fire pineapple bo blossoms into a flower that seems as a conflagration, hence the name. Its fruit, also considered a delicacy to some, but its deeply pungent aroma is off-putting to a species with finely tuned olfactory senses, as is its over over uh, overpowering taste. Actually, I might have been overthinking that. So yeah, that that might that might actually be a little too pungent. Now, where were you? Where were you? Oh, okay. 
not the, that's not what I thought it was. I'm like, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. But then they said cactus ball, so. Yeah, the, the uh, other, one of those other plants. One last bit of knowledge. You clearly have a talent for this, Cal. Thanks. Grease taught me a little. How long have you been gardening? Since I was a child, I've always enjoyed the company of plants. In my adolescence, I joined a well-respected nursery. My work became a passion, and I soon stumbled upon an innovation. What was it? Hybridizing diverse genotypical specimens with novel macrocosmetic environments. Really? A mouthful, yes. I mean that I developed a talent for growing new plants in new places. Yeah. Well, these specimens are lucky to have you here. That's what they tell me. <laughs> Some of the terminology I've never actually heard before. But when you listen to it in the context of what she's saying and what she does anyway, it's quite easy to understand what it is she's saying. Okay. Now we are finally ready to get out of Rambler's Reach. Good lord. So things and stuff we need to do on coal. Wait a minute. Do you see what I see? Actually, it looks a little different. Ah, okay. I know what that is. That's okay. That matters, but that's not what I thought it was. Okay, now where specifically are we going? What was the name of that? You know, I might save the funky caverns for next episode, but we'll see. We'll see. I want to head that way and then see... Like how much time this is probably going to take. Huh. Where are you? There you are. I'm like, huh? Okay. Now this part's gonna get interesting. Because at the time I couldn't exactly come down here. It wouldn't really matter, it was too dangerous, and I didn't have certain uh, abilities. My son. Abandoned corpse. The prospectors who tried exploring this cavern met unfortunate ends. One caught by some peril deeper into the cave network managed to crawl back before succumbing to their wounds just meters from the entrance. That's one of those things about cave diving and spelunking. You kind of, you need to make people aware of what you're doing. And then you have to hope to God those people care and aren't hoping that you end up dying down there. He's moving around a lot. Whoa. Droids. The raiders have rigged this place. All right. Not too sturdy. This what stuff you got, is little everywhere. dude? I don't like the look of it. We should be nope. careful. Nobody with sense does. Cavern fungus, a mysterious fungus that gives off a peculiar acid or acidic odor. The growths can be found throughout the cave network, though little else is known about their behavior 
well, the little else about the behavior is known. It's the growth that we saw on our way down here. Oh, damn. It's the growth that we saw on our way down here. The little ones in the walls that you saw me running away from and avoiding. Now, this particular area is quite interesting because Jedi, at last you grace us. I am one of the last faces you'll see, I expect. These caves will be your tomb. <laughs> because of them. Thanks for the shortcut, little dude. Perry push. How you not gonna give me XP for that? I mean, I still killed him. Sure. I didn't kill him with all of my damage, but I at least killed him with my damage, or, or with some of my damage on him. You will scour this place for anything of note. If anyone tries to interfere, crush them. Right. Again, die plots. Ravis orders the raiders to occupy the cave network. He believes through instinct, if nothing else, that the place held some information as to his missing master's whereabouts. Built the Bedlam Raiders basically for two centuries to find this dude. That is, that is commendable and sad. Because he wouldn't have done it if he didn't have prior commitments. Beautiful. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's higher up, though. What? 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 Something interesting? Oh, control. Good job, BD. Ranger Depot, Raider Depot, Ranger Depot. <laughs> what was once a Republic facility underneath the planet's surface has now, like so many things on Kobo, been overrun by the Raiders. A depot of droid parts, weaponry, and supplies is proof of Raider incursion into the caverns. And they could be using these things to repair the droids as well, if not making new ones. MBD. Perfect. Mm. Couldn't remember if they stopped their firing for a bit. Oh boy. We'll be going there. <laughs> oh really? I didn't know that was a thing. I took fire damage. Not yet. Not yet. Actually, I think that is where I need to go. Uh... I don't know. Actually, maybe not. What is that? Yeah, see, those things. Okay. Ooh. 
needless to say, they're Acid. waiting for their Let's opportunity. Damn, if that didn't hurt a lot. I need help. Ooh, that could have been bad. Wonder if I'm thinking about the wrong area. Maybe, maybe not. We have to get back to warn the others. I don't think we're making it back. Damn. That was quick and cut itself off. That was pretty weird. A cave too far. Two prospectors, despite the odds, made it deep and Two, two prospectors, despite the odds, made it deep into the cave networks. However, they find themselves trapped and lament that this may be their end. Whether it was, I don't know. It was kind of abrupt. It was as if the force was taken aback by what happened. Say, I remember, but you don't want to hear this. Trust me. I have done the research. No, no, I'm good. I'm real good. Because over there was exactly the plan. Uh. Mm. Okay, I took a grenade to the dome. That was extremely unpleasant. What the fuck? Okay. Didn't have enough space right there. Fine. This is important. What the? Okay, game. Alright, I guess that's what we're doing. Mm. Mm. Damn, boy. He gets around. My scuba. What's up, my sea brother? Scuba. Hey, what's waiting beneath the surface this time? These strange climbs harbor a most mysterious resident, the Visit Lucker. Ah, they love to nestle into the cozier reaches of the sea, but they're no too cozy for scuba staff. Nice, I think. Hmm. right to me. Could I interest you in a, a tale? So, after years of searching for the great whale, 
I returned home to the frozen shores of Sakavitar, where my tale began. And this world on which I was weaned and warmed seemed but a moon to be careworn eyes. So small. I foot slogged my way back to Undun's cave, but I found it empty and somehow colder than I remembered. You know, lad, sometimes the truth brings peace, and sometimes it brings sadness. The fish is nae always what you thought it'd be when it bit the line. I dragged myself out of that cave and back to my village. And what I discovered next sent a spar through me thrice-pickled belly. All me kith and kin, old and barren, ravaged by famine and cold. For none other than Captain Wanyak Wet had been fishing in their waters, swearing what few fish remained and taking them off world. And so it was that I found myself once again in search of the dread captain and his crew. Not just for my own justice, but to liberate my very home. When we next speak, I'll tell you what became of my crusade. Alright then. <laughs> Broken vow. School will return to Sakavi Tab but felt like a stranger in his own home. When he discovered that Captain Wed had broken his now origin vow never to fish in Sakavi Tab waters, School will resolve to punt to pursue his old captain. Well one, the fact that you held him to that was honestly a surprise, and two I mean, you're not a part of his crew anymore, as far as he's probably concerned. Whatever rule he breaks, he didn't break. And technically he didn't. <laughs> but let's keep it real. This ain't a technicality conversation. Death cage. Intruder. Yep. Unable to target. Organics. Systems damaged. Sure, those things were used to hunt down Jedi as well. Get over here. I could kill two of y'all, but why be stupid? What the? I said force push kick. BD! Somebody's deep in their emotions. I bet Z can get the data off this desk. Or rather, their emotional processor. Jedi detected. Yet more. Finally, the prey comes to me. 
No, you can't. That's the power of the force. Now, what were you saying? Good. The public must have used this to reach the surface. Well, I don't think they fell through a hole in the roof every time, buddy. <laughs> That's what happens when you leap before you look, BD. This elevator takes us back to the top, which takes us back to the save point, which is exactly what I need. Now. Such an angry boy. Such an angry boy. Look at that. Just angry. Grr, arc. <laughs> rada, rada. <laughs> Got you there, buddy. Unforeseen. <laughs> Little triple flash. That's fair. Now, you. Some to show, huh? Yeah, I can respect it. Part that kills me about that whole fight right there, that Magna Guard is sitting out there like, you know I'm next, right? Yep. I know you're next. Let's go. My desire was to pull you. I'd have just pulled you all the way. The whole point was to get you in the fight. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. Hey! Kool Aid! Interloper. Somewhat impressive.
This flora is fascinating. I can't figure it out. Perhaps there's something in the satellite laboratory that could help us analyze it. Perhaps. Scientific frisson. The two Republic scientists have grown excited by the discoveries they have made in the caverns, but cannot further analyze them without additional investigative equipment located elsewhere. Duelist grip, huh? Considering the way things are down here, it makes sense. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. I'm sure she can too. Upgrade. No, that ain't. You're the for best. the Magna Guard. Your program belongs to me. So to be clear, I've got B2s, DTs, security, magna, and droid, because understood that I can hack. <clears throat> Gotta check that. Oh, oh no! Uh oh. See that? Oh, I live here now. Now, the reason why this whole area exists, other than everything we've done so far, is this particular spot. You're trapped, and there's literally no way out. Other than. This to Z. Dark as hell down here, boy. What you got for me? Dead Jedi. The body of a Jedi long dead who presumably conducted research within the caverns. Their body indicates they were killed by massive trauma from someone much bigger than them. It burned right through. Think we can use this elsewhere? Hence it teaching you this here. You're supposed to learn it normally here instead of where I used it earlier. What was that? Oh no! <laughs> Gruesome. They've been here a long time. A fallen knight. The body of a Jedi Knight brutally ambushed by someone on the force before being unceremoniously discarded in the bowels of the cave. Probably brought Jedi here often in order to break them, torture them, kill them. Who knows? Hmm. All right. Sure, if you insist. Oh. 
Oh shit. Problems. What is the problem? Simple. You kill them separately, or you get jumped. Focus offline. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah, her cloak is offline. Shall remain in there. Oh, nice swing. Real talk. She be throwing that strong style, boy. Watching your health. I figured this was still gonna be going for a while. Do your thing, buddy. That's so how needless it's done. to say, kill them separately or kill them at the same time. And yes, they are permanently gone, luckily. I should not have came down here just yet. But that's alright. It happened. Should have went here first. That area I was uh, in earlier that I was talking about not yet, I actually thought it was this area. I'll get back to the area specifically to show what I'm talking about. Boy, if this ain't a force echo right now. Okay. Where is he? Where is Dagengera? I don't know. We couldn't find him. But he murdered Jedi. He must answer for his crimes. I understand. You're following your code, and I am following mine. I owe him everything. But you... You, I owe nothing.
It almost looked like he enjoyed that. Sounded like it as well. Ravis' search. Ravis, loyal lieutenant of Dagon, scours Kobo in search of his missing master. Any Jedi he encounters with, uh, uh, are potential informants and inevitable victims. Shocker. Nobody can say Gendai aren't at least loyal. I don't know how the rest of that species functions, but people cannot say Gendai are not loyal. Buddy, over here. So they were studying the growths here. As well as more research on Kobo matter. We really found this whole planet fascinating. Hey, I can understand why. Republic control room. From this control room, the Republic Jedi and scientists stationed here conducted their monitoring of the planet's activities, while also gathering samples from the caverns themselves. Must have hated having to leave it all behind. Oh, you know they did. Let's go. It's like telling the librarian to burn their entire stock of books. I think they'd die. Chest. Unopened chest. Stem upgrades and BD1 upgrades are now shown on the hollow map. Yes. That is 100% legit. Yeah, see, this area was where I thought it was. Oh, the area back outside was Scuba. Yeah, take that path and you're back where Scuba is. And this is where we fell in. the other side of my cell. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Dark as hell. Well, setting aside loot, I'm officially done with the place. I could swear there was something else about this place. Straight on. <laughs> Excuse me. Gentlemen.
Yeah. Ah, no. That's legit the first time I ever heard one of them droids do that. <laughs> You did it! Yay! They keep trying to get me to target these things. Okay, you could at least lift one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, hey, hey. Those are Jedi powers! Huh? No. -uh. I just know how to do some stuff and some things. What you mean Jedi powers? Huh. All right, I forgot I got that zip line. Could have just Hmm. Ah, that's what it was. The fu Did you try and pull the rainbow? You can, but that's not what I'm going for. And I think he just one shot me. Yeah, I don't know about the rainbow right now. That's funny. So wait, hold on. Yeah, this is where the other one was supposed to be. So I would have come across that one first. down here trying to reach through the stars we all must do our part padawan no matter our place <clears throat> i suppose padawan's getting bored huh as above so below two jedi a knight and a padawan discussed their circumstances the padawan expressed a grim amusement at seeming so far from their purpose only to be chided by our master i mean kid it's 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 the same thing. As as was stated, as above, so below. Sometimes you have to go down to get up. What the f crazy as that sounds. Sometimes you have to go down to get up. Oh lord. Not really. Ah. ah! Right next to my stuff. I should have just went on and got it, especially having took damage like that. I mean, I can hit the Rancor hard enough, but we'll see. It is irksome. I don't know how much I lost. I mean, I had leveled up. 
but I don't know how much I had lost XP wise. No, don't actually need to bother avoiding them, just doing so. Attacking the wall was definitely my plan, Kestis. Oh, God. Definitely did. Definitely did. Yep. On this difficulty, yeah, it's definitely a wrap. <laughs> Especially with that amount of health. One of these for the Rancor. Look at her Rancor, and it wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> no interruptions, fellas. No interruptions. Uh oh. Oh, shit. The stick is kind of vibrating, and this was pointless in the end. It could start to vibrate, and I'm thinking it's about to let itself loose. Not trying to have it. I forgot about this one over here. Not trying to have it be a repeat of that uh, one creature that rolls, looks like a tumbleweed. We looked at it earlier. saying when it uh when it's a wrap it's a wrap <laughs> give this one more go and then have to come back for the rancor at some other point game is hitching around here not really used to this game hitching on me Obviously not like it couldn't, I'm just not used to it. I mean, superficial damage, but it does damage. And in the end, I want to say it doesn't cost like force energy to do. Nope. No force energy to do. Damn. Strong blaster, boy. Took out a rock. A pillar. Took that pillar smooth out. Hey, I said dodge. Yeah, and this ain't one of them games where it lets you break out of things like grabs. I'll give it one last run and then we're heading back out. Actually, we'll, since we're effectively done here, the only thing around is... No, we're done. So all this left is the Rancor. Give it this one last shot and if it don't work we'll be heading back to the uh, main <laughs> 
goal of this episode wasn't to spend most of the time in Rambler's Reach or the Funky Cabin. <laughs> Damn. I'm not carrying anything, I don't care. What the fuck? I was not trying to grab an enemy game. Oh wow, it's just a wrap anyway. They throw something in my face, will you? Why don't you feed my face then? I'll actually allow that one to not count. <laughs> Luckily though, when you die, you don't have to bother returning elevators to their previous location. Okay, no, that's what it was. That spot at the very top, I could have found, uh, fought that one in the uh, fought the uh, other lightsaber wielder in there as well. That spot that I fought the other two is the spot where you fight three at a time, or where you fight the combination. So you either kill them or you face them all there. Summit Ridge. Might actually have to end up retitling this episode to uh, <laughs> basically uh, the Funky Caverns or something. Called the next one the uh, Great Climb. Oh, we're heading to the observatory. Already on my way. All right, I'll catch you up there, brother. <laughs> It's in an interesting spot. This is it. Keep pushing. I'll cover you from the sky. Needless to say, it's going down up here. Everybody wants this thing. Let's check it out. Yeah? Let's what see. Did you scan? High altitude research. These Republic devices were used to read atmospheric pressure patterns unique to Kobo. I thought that's what she was scanning. Why not scan it earlier? The latching mechanisms allowed them to be bundled together and reeled in during adverse weather. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. These look modded, probably for the high altitude. Oh, okay. Nope, I don't know if that's where it wants me to send it. Might want me to send it there. Yeah, it does. <laughs> to war, Atrox. To war. Uh, 
Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. All right, buddy. Which means the Emperor will not stay out of this long. This place is floating. That in and of itself is impressive. Which ain't surprising, but I mean, how many structures in Star Wars other than like uh, the, the band of gas mines and whatnot do you see consistently floating? There's many that can. Many. But how often do they Raiders do it? already tore through here. Get electrocuted, kid. Nice work. Let's keep mm -hmm. heading up. That's what I thought, okay. <laughs> Tried to pick a corner and they wouldn't let him. Put your back to the wall and break it down. What the hell? All right. I'll be ready for some action. A big firefight up ahead. I don't know what's up oh, with man. the uh, stream. Checking the stream out, and for some reason, it's acting up. Stabilizes and then it don't. Erratic dust. Some Republic scientists believe that destabilized Kobo dust housed tremendous potential energy. Experiments 
on the moon facility had already yielded exciting results worth iterating upon. Yep. Still makes you wonder about this stuff. Like, what is it precisely? Because they don't even know what it was. The Centauri Cree didn't even know what it was. It was just stuff they found and started messing with. But they built their entire existence on Kobo around this stuff. door doesn't open. Why is it one of y'all is smart, the other one's stupid, and the dumb one's gonna get the smart one killed? See, you just did. It sure is, buddy. It sure is. No, no, you can't. die from that fall. Yeah, I gotta get back used to how I set that style up. Didn't do too much into it though. Still need to be running. That's partly the other issue. <laughs> Yes, they do. Oh, 
on the offensive! Nice. Nice. You caught me with the block. pretty good he got me with the block which let him or let the commando droid attack me because I was still locked in the block animation I didn't switch to blaster style when I uh, wasn't looking. their match. Daggett's nowhere to be seen. Well, we got a good idea where he's headed. Meet you at the top. Yep. <clears throat> well, folks, <laughs> hate the blue ball you slash leave you on the cor uh, cliffhanger like this, but that's gonna be the end of episode 23 of Star Wars Jedi Survivor. You folks like what you see and want to see more of me, give me a like, uh, follow, subscribe here on YouTube or both. Drop a comment, check out some of the other playlists, share around some of the other playlists. Follow the links to my Twitch to get to my YouTube. Follow the links to my YouTube to get to my Twitch. And wherever you folks happen to be, have yourselves a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And God bless you. Catch you in the next one.